So welcome guys. So today we'll be setting up our MTR router for a mobile device. So I'll be showing you guys how to set up the router on your mobile device. So when you have your router, you power it on. Over here, it turns on, which is this. It is on and you're going to wait, let it and put up. This is actually the power adapter and this is the router. So it's actually on, we'll wait for it to load. So when it's load, I'm gonna actually reset it so it will look as if it's out of the box. And it was out of the box. So I'll be resetting your router. So if you want to reset your router, maybe should in case you have forgotten your password, you want to reset the router, you can do that from press and hold for some seconds. And over here, you can see that it powered on and off. So we're waiting for it to come back on. So when it's on, I'll now go over the phone to show you guys how to set up your router on your mobile device for those that don't have access to pc so it doesn't stop you from actually setting up your router if you purchase a router you don't have access to a computer or a pc you can see set up your router and use it um, to do whatever you want to do so that's actually what i'll be showing you guys now so let's hold on as it come up so it's now up and running so watch how as I go over the phone to show you guys how to set up the router and connect to this router. So, first of all, what we'll be needing is actually the SSID, which is actually on the, this section. So, this is the SSID. Here, we'll be needing the SSID is actually this. Then, the password is done here. So, this is actually what we'll be entering when we want to connect this router to this um, the mobile device to the router. So, that's what we'll be shortly now. Let's go over to the phone on the phone and we want to reset this router so i'll be going over here to slide down to the wi-fi settings here then i'll tap and hold the wi-fi if you don't want to access there you can go through the settings go over to settings click on connection then over here you can see wi-fi tap on wi-fi device then you see this is the ssid of the router so i click on it and it's asking for the password so that password i showed you guys on that which is actually the one line key is what i'm gonna type here so i'll actually type it so it's six so when i'm done you can actually come down here to look at all these things and set up um treat as metered so what this does is actually uh, allows you to treat your network as metered so that it will not be consuming data you cannot just go and start downloading updates or background processes um, it will not just go and start doing um, downloading software updates with your data it's actually going to treat it as if it's a measured data yeah, you can actually treat it on meter that means everything on the phone can get connected and start using your data so this is the difference between two of them or you can leave it as detect automatically what since it's my router and my mobile device and I'm the one that usually purchase my um, data, so I usually leave it at treat as metered. Then this is actually the Mac type, so I'll just click on connect. So we are now connected to the router. So when you connect to the router, you can actually go to the router's website to actually access the router. So internet is now available. As well i didn't subscribe it so i'll go back to my browser go to my google chrome or whichever browser you have on your mobile device tap on the and type the ip address or the router um website that is actually written on the router there are two you can actually type http Press enter. So it takes me to the router. It's telling me this connection is not secure. Yes, because it doesn't have HTTPS. So I just click continue and you can see that I've actually got into the router. So I'm accessing it from the mobile. You can see. So I'll just click on proceed. It's asking for the password, which actually I know the password, which is at the default. If you have not set it up to change the password, it's actually admin. You type it and click on proceed. So you are now connected to the router. So you can actually save it. If it's your device you can actually save it but i'm not saving it then here you actually have 
um, your network telling you it's connected and your connection type you can do some settings here then over to the wi-fi settings which is more important for us so here is actually where you can set up your ssid here allows you to change the ssid name which is the router name i can say kingspire pick my wi-fi or router then here allows you to choose which network mode is best i prefer this last one which is more stronger so i can click on it and uh, over here you type your wi-fi key so here is actually where you can change your wi-fi key i'm gonna type my wi-fi key so i've done that and i applied so it's gonna reset and if you watch over here the wi-fi network is gonna disconnect and when it's done uh, you have to actually type in the new router um password to actually connect so let's see it says we have an invalid ssid so i'll just click on underscore i think maybe that's the challenge apply let's see the router has invalid ssid let's go and take let's say mm. So let's leave it as that and click apply so it says all connected devices we have we need to reconnect so i have to go and check my password to be sure before that is correct before i can actually miss or apply yes and success it has been applied so if you watch here the network is disconnected i have to go back to my network again search for the wi-fi which is actually the you see it has changed i'll click on it type my password So connect. So if you watch over here, we actually connected to the router. It's telling us our data is um, exhausted. I will need to subscribe whichever one. So I'll go back. So we'll go back to our Google Chrome. So I'll, I will actually log that. So I'll just refresh and um, type the password again, admin, and uh, click on proceed. So we are now connected back to the router you can see over here wi-fi device wireless device is actually one you can see the device that was connected so this is actually the device that is connected then here is actually we are allows you to set up your wi-fi coverage do you want it short distance or medium uh, medium distance or long wi-fi coverage so i totally set it on um it's actually set by default on long wi-fi coverage so you actually can actually work on whichever one is suitable for you. Then WPS allows you to actually connect using the WPS button at the back of the router. You can actually set that up by automatic by pressing the button or you can actually set it by pin. So this first one, the P, um, PBC is actually the button. Then the pin is actually where you, when you press it, you ask you for pin to connect. So these are actually the basic settings. Then here is your network, uh, your SIM messages that comes into your device. So you can actually look at SMS that comes into the router. Then you have your other settings where you can set in your login password, which is the one that allows you to log in, and also update manager if you want to actually update the Wi-Fi or the router. If you want to update the router, you can do that from here. So this is actually you know, normal basic settings on a mobile device. But there's another way which I actually connect to my router is actually by going to the IP address. So if you go to the R router, we access the router, click on, sorry, click on settings. So over here, we'll go to view more. Here allows us to see the IP address of the router. So my IP address is actually 192.168 over here, dot eight dot zero dot one. It, but the main router that is which is the dns which is actually the main um gateway is actually the router which is 192.168.0.1 so this is actually how your mobile device your pc connects to it click on it then go to your browser type 192 
so which is actually this click on it it gives you access to log into the router but this looks as if you are connecting with your device so I'll just click on the password click on login and i'm back so this is actually the interface for the desktop uh, mode or laptop mode so this looks as if you are on the mobile um, desktop mode but the other one actually looks as if you are on using your mobile device so here allows you to do all your settings you want to do which is um what we have done a video about us so this is actually going to be short and only focusing on how to connect your router to your your mob using your mobile device to connect to your router and set up your router thank you if you like this video click the like button subscribe and also share see you next time